out in the deserts of Iran, where sun and sand slowly erode the last relics of the ancient Silk Route, lies the legacy of another millennium. We've been invited to a place that for generations was a sacred, secret location. Hidden away behind the scorched mountains lies Chak Chak, holy shrine of the Zoroastrians, religion of the ancient kings of Persia. <laughs> Waiting at the door, our host, Mr. Yazdani, guides us into the spiritualism of another age. This was one of the first religions to believe in a single omnipresent God. They believed their prophet, Zoroaster, was born of a virgin mother in what is now Afghanistan. Satan, heaven and hell were all Zoroastrian concepts later embraced by Christianity and Islam. Scholars now claim the three wise men who paid tribute at the birth of Christ were in fact Zoroastrian priests. Outside on the ramparts, it's easy to see why they came here. A location that is both scenic and strategic. When the Arabs invaded Zoroastrian Persia in the 7th century AD, they conquered in the name of Islam. Those who refused to submit fled to these desert strongholds. Permitted by Iran's ruling mullahs to wear their traditionally bright colours, they stand reassured by their three basic tenets. A day's camel ride from Chak Chak lies the ancient city of Yazd, home to the dwindling community of 6,000 Zoroastrians. Little has changed since the armies of Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan trudged through these alleyways. They chose to spare the city. Some say it was divine intervention. Now, tough heritage preservation orders guard the city just as effectively as the restored battlements of old. We find community leader, Mr. Yazdani, amid the circuitry of his electronics repair shop. Even Zoroastrian leaders need a day job. Zoroastrians, he says, have managed to survive in the volatile climate of Islamic fundamentalist Iran for one simple reason. 
قابل قبول هستن زرتشتی ها در کل دنیا دلیلش اینه که به سیاست هیچ کشوری کار ندارن روابط بین زرتشتی ها و مسلمون ها البته بعد از انقلاب من فکر میکنم بهتر شده بدتر نشده The Zoroastrian fire temple of Yazd now draws a new generation of pilgrims, keen to learn the meaning behind the religion's winged symbol. Iranian authorities regard Zoroastrianism as part of Islam's heritage and welcome these Spanish tourists with their desperately needed dollars. The big draw card here is the temple's eternal flame, reputed to have been burning for 1,200 years. But tourism alone may not be enough to save the Zoroastrians of Yazd. Their numbers steadily declining through emigration and a ban on conversions. Even their ascent to the next life has been hampered by the modern world. Just a stone's throw from the suburbs of 20th century Yazd, we meet Zoroastrian Adashi Bazadeh. This is the Tower of Silence. Until the early 1960s, the final resting place for the Zoroastrian dead. Mordogan ra inja mizeshtan ta gwisht unha tawasat in karkas ha korde beshe va aftab va garma ham mikrob ha ra az bain bebare on che ke baqi mon baqi mimond usakhun bud va usakhun ham ke paak bud va unra dam cha daf mikard. This age-old ritual was stopped by health authorities who feared disease would spread to the encroaching suburbs. The vultures are long gone and Zoroastrians are now buried in cemeteries. But many dream of a day when the great birds return and the health regulations of the modern world turn to dust. A day when the faithful can once again ascend the Tower of Silence to heaven. And if the meek do inherit the earth, perhaps many of them will be the followers of this ancient yet gentle faith.